What is up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Welcome to this brand new episode of 360 Aerial Drone Pro Production Tutorial Series. In this episode, we gotta talk about the second technique I use called Sky Replacement to remove drone and make the sky look more presentable if you have a really bad weather like in the winter time. So let's take a look. So this is the second way to remove the drone in the 360 VR footage, drone footage. So uh, let's take a quick look of the sample footage right here. So if you play this, the first clip, again, you see the drone with a, in a really ugly sky and it's rising up. And then that is the second footage. Look at that nice color, really, really nice sky and the drone is gone. It's actually very stable as well. So uh, this is the tutorial to teach you how to achieve exactly that. So step one to using the sky removal technique is first actually find a footage to use this technique. As I mentioned, I have three basic drone removal techniques and really depend on your footage uh, to choose the appropriate ways to do it. For this one, uh, I have three criteria. First criteria is the drone is have to be high up in the sky, like here, high up the skies. So the drone is actually moving upward uh, from 40 meters all the way to 60 meter um, above everything else. So the drone actually have the highest vantage point. Uh, so no object is higher than the drone. And the second criteria is the drone uh, either be stationary. If it's stationary 360 footage, that would be perfect using this um, technique because the sky is not moving uh, in a horizontal way. Um, and also will work pretty well if you have a really controllable smooth rise up and rise down like Superman view uh, as I introduced in my other uh, videos. Uh, so if your drone moves that way, it's also uh, pretty good to use this technique. If your drone is moving in a horizontal, so going forward and backward, because the sky gonna move in a parallax way, so this might not be an ideal scenario to do it, that uh, I would suggest you using the uh, technique 3, which I'll introduce next week in the next video. Uh, for, but for this one, this footage is actually pretty perfect because it's uh, well, next, uh, look at the third criteria. It's like, if you have a really moody day, uh, what I call moody is like you have no sun, no blue sky with like crowd, but it's like really ugly crowd and you basically cannot see anything. Uh, for this footage, it's perfect because it's around the river. Uh, it's in Guangzhou, China. It's actually a really polluted city. Um, you cannot see the sky and the sky's under the crowd and the pollution. And it's winter. And this is actually perfect to using this method because the footage would look pretty bad if you just film like this. So uh, why, while you're removing the drone, why not just purify your sky and make it look like more presentable to the client and surprise them. So that is my three criteria, just to repeat myself. First, the drone had to be high up. Second is have to be stationary or moving up. And third is if you see the sky as really ugly and you want to beautify it, that would be the perfect way to use this technique. So after you pick your footage, step two is go ahead and grab the footage and just drop in and create a new sequence right here. Go ahead and mute that so you don't hear the noisy drone footage. And here the step one I would usually do, if you can, go ahead and stabilize your drone footage. With GoPro Fusion, the footage is already very stable. Uh, if I play it, you see it's already very stable. But you still see a little bit like horizon line up and down. So your goal is to want to eliminate that as much as possible. So even capture with GoPro Fusion, I always drop uh, this into Mystica VR or using Mocha VR or, or whatever way. If you're using other camera like the E, or the Insta 61, other video tutorial I, I make for you guys, for you guys who don't own GoPro Fusion. That's especially important to stabilize your footage in post to make sure the movement is stable. So I will have an entire tutorial series to teach you how to stabilize footage uh, using, I would say like six or seven uh, techniques to stabilize your footage from free all the way to premium, like using local VR. Uh, so you know exactly how to stabilize footage. But again, this is not this tutorial all about. So I will teach you in another tutorial. So if you want to learn how to stabilize your footage, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As you see, this footage is already actually stabilized in uh, Mocha VR. Um, so that is very smooth footage. So after that, uh, the step one I actually do is do a basic color correction uh, because as you see, the sky is very ugly and the footage, even Global Fusion have beautiful color and still want to do a general 
color gray. So I already done some color correction here. So I just copy and paste into my setting in here. So you see, uh, again, this is not color correction tutorial. So you can use any color correction plugin and wait to color correct. Again, this is just a basic color correction to don't go crazy. Um, just make the color look slightly better than the original GoPro footage. So the uh, step three is go ahead and find a middle frame of the entire frame right here. And then go ahead and grab a screenshot. So right here, export frame, this camera icon, go ahead and hit that, select folder. And again, uh, I always try to export highest quality possible footage, which is TIFF file. So go ahead and open Photoshop, go ahead and find the screen capture you have, and then drop into Photoshop. So now you open the footage into Photoshop, you see the drone and the sky uh, and the entire footage. Okay, so step four, after you open that on Photoshop, the next step is go ahead and find a sky, then you can replace this sky. It's a couple ways to do that. You can also, you can first, one way is I sometimes just want to capture the original sky. So basically, I take the 360 camera out from the drone and I send it back to the sky, same high, same location, and make the drone make a 360 videos. Again, uh, any Mavic Pro or Mavic Air, um, uh, also the Mavic Platinum, which is what I use here, and you can really easily take a 360 photos and then let them capture the skies and that is the photo you will need to actually replace the sky that is actually the best way uh, you don't need to go ahead and find the sky um, but again if the sky is ugly like this scenario you don't actually want to use that footage so for this scenario i actually really hate the sky that day so i will actually have an other secret method i gotta show you is actually find a nicer hdr sky to actually replace the entire thing so one of the websites I found on the internet is really, really useful. It's HDRI Skies right here. I'll put the URL link in the description of this video. But basically, this website allows you to download the HDR Sky taken by professional photographers. Um, and then you can literally have any sky you want. And they also have filter. Then you can find a sky you need. Uh, so for this one, I actually picking the dusty sky. Why? Because it's a pretty dusty day. Um, so again, depending on what feeling you want, you want to have an afternoon sky, go ahead and pick a red sky. Um, if you want a cloudy sky, go ahead and pick a cloudy sky. Um, depending on what you want for the fridge. For this one, I actually picked this one. This like sky, I'll try to match up with the actual environment of Guangzhou, China. And so not go too crazy. So go ahead and get a sky. So again, uh, most of the sky here, you can actually get it for free. So it's a really good website. Uh, the only thing is you can only get it not in HD, it's only in this pixel, but it's totally fine because it's an HDR image and you are capturing in a video footage in GoPro Fusion or any camera. And the resolution is always even, uh, trust me, it just work. So uh, I don't think you actually need to purchase the sky. But again, if you want to go fancy, go ahead and purchase this, the sky you need uh, for professional gig. Uh, but in my scenario for GoPro Fusion or for any consumer camera, um, the free version uh, usually will work pretty well. So go ahead and go ahead and download this guy. So I'm already downloading this guy in my folder. So and I will go ahead and open it. So it's an HDR file, which is if you double click it, it should open directly in Photoshop. So that is the sky I download. And if you look at the sky dimension right here, just go ahead and image size right here. You see the width of the image 204A is way smaller than the global version footage, but don't worry again. Uh, this is an HDR image. So go ahead and just make sure that you go to your original image, go to image size. So for GoPro Fusion is 5.2K, but depending on what camera you use, if you're using the E, it's actually 5.7K. So just copy the width and let's paste it right here. Image side, copy and paste. So we'll enlarge the image still because the HDR professional taking photos still looks still look super amazing. So go ahead and just control A and select the whole frame and control C and copy it. Uh, and just go ahead and control V to paste the entire frame on top of your background footage. I'll just go also go ahead and duplicate it. this one. So the next step is just go ahead and select that layer, that sky layer, uh, just for organization purpose. I will rename it as sky. And then create a layer mask and then go ahead and pick your gradient to and just get rid of the bottom part. So if you hold shift, make sure that your transparent is in a vertical direction and let go. 
see that you review the bottom part of your layer, which is the actual footage. Why now with the HDR sky and the footage, it looked great. I mean, I, I love it, but it's not really matching in color. So the next step is you're going to do some little color correction to make the sky sit well if you're in your original footage. So I'll go ahead and add an adjustment layer right here uh, using hue and saturation, and then right click on it and make sure to create a clipping mask uh, on the sky layer. And then as you see, the sky is a little bit purple-ish. So you push on this side and the sky will a little bit purple-ish. And then uh, you can drop that light list really high because the sky I picked is actually more like an afternoon uh, and before sunset. And th that time filming when uh, it's actually noon in Guangzhou, China with the ugly sky. So go ahead and drop the saturation as well uh, because that was an HDR photo. Saturation is actually really high. So if you drop the saturation, look at that. And then run up the brightness. Now the whole sky just melts just like merge into the original footage look really really good and actually i love this little detail of the sun as well right here with the infinity look it just have this uh, really nice skies and the sun is right here instead of disappear in the original footage so that is the final result i really want so go ahead and create and group drop everything into the group And then on the group, you create a layer mask again. Uh, all I need is the sky. I don't need the actual footage. So for help you to do that, so your goal is to try to like crop it from the middle of the frame. You can let this bridge is pretty high. You can let a little bit right here. It's fine. And then from here, using the gradient tool to get rid of the bottom part of the footage. Like so. So now you only have the sky. So go ahead and export as a PNG file. Save that. Okay, now so we go back into Premiere so we can import back the sky we just created and drop in right here. So that is before, that is after. Look at that. Now the sky is completely removed if you try to click preview. It's not nice. Don't worry about it because like look at the sky static, but if you look at it in the VR view right here, See, if you look at the VR view, let's go ahead and just play it. It actually maps like really nicely because this infinity look, uh, the infinity buried style, it just makes really well into the footage and you cannot really tell uh, that is a fake sky, uh, even with the slightly vertical movement. Again, if you have big movement, you probably can tell it, uh, but it's vertical movement, you usually can't tell in a VR view. So that's great. So last step, uh, after you merge the sky, uh, I will actually pre-comb this, so it's basically right-click on the layer and hit Nest, just like after effect pre con you can also do that in Premiere, and it's always a really good habit to do that. So I go ahead and just pre con this, I nest this in the Premiere turn, uh, into Sky, Up. replacement, V2, and then after you have this combined layer, I will also do a general color correction and grade it to just make that this thing to gel together. So, and I'll go ahead and again, drop it in a color correction right here. So now the footage jotted really together. And here is again, the final version. So that is my secret technique too to how you remove a drone and at the same time make the sky look a little bit presentable and beautiful. So now you don't have any excuse to say that, oh my god, uh, it's winter, I cannot capture a good sky, I will never get good drone footage. Uh, because some people actually like uh, said that uh, because Veer actually went out against still running a drone competition. So if you upload your drone on Veer, uh, you have a chance to win a uh, free drone or free camera or free gimbal stabilizer. Um, some people uh, complain that oh that's the best that's the worst time to do it because it's winter the sky is ugly for some area uh, uh, I'm lucky because I live in California but again I was actually in China uh, I don't have beautiful sky neither uh, so I'm also in the same disadvantage of everybody else but is that stop me from creating? no uh, you can always use pro-production to easily replace the sky and make it look nice uh, so you can still go ahead and capture your footage and deliver to your client on time but not stopping by the weather or the actual sky. So uh, hopefully 
you learn something in this tutorial again the next tutorial we we'll go into detail on how to actually remove scar in a professional way a very very professional way in this scenario that you can literally remove John in any any footage including the footage that is not stationary and going in a horizontal direction like the one you see in here uh, flying low um, and moving really fast and again it's a cloudy day and the sun and everything uh, so uh, and the technique is gonna use mocha VR tracking and all the fancy technique to remove the junk completely and seamlessly so um, if you want that learn that tutorial uh, the actually the technique 3 don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video we would very very appreciate if you give me a thumb up and share this to your other friends who's also into drone and UCC footage and also want to try uh, to create immersive UCC footage without drone with a really stable UCC experience again my name is Hugh Ho uh, I'm also on Instagram so don't forget to follow me on Instagram check out behind the scenes of all this video I'm creating around the world um, and I will see you next time